Changing the Needleless Connector. This video teaches you how to change the needleless connector. You should change the needleless connector as recommended by your healthcare team. Follow these steps. Gather your supplies. You'll need a 10 ml normal saline syringe, a needleless connector, two sterile gauze pads, a medical mask, clean gloves, two alcohol wipes, an alcohol impregnated cap, hand sanitizer, heparin if needed. If possible, ask a second person if they can help you to change the needleless connector. Make a clean workspace. Clean your hands before touching your supplies. You can do this by washing them thoroughly with soap and water if they look visibly dirty or using hand sanitizer if they look visibly clean. Place a mask on yourself and anyone else in the room if they're within six feet of the patient. Clean your hands again. You're now ready to change the needleless connector. Before you start, make sure that the CVC is clamped. Then, open the needleless connector package. Be sure not to touch the needleless connector. Keep the needleless connector inside the package. Screw the normal saline syringe onto the new needleless connector, keeping it inside the package. Flush with normal saline. Open the gauze and alcohol packets. Leave the gauze pad on top of the packet. Put the alcohol pad on top of the gauze pad. Only touch one corner of the alcohol pad. Next, put on clean gloves. Pick up the gauze and alcohol pad together. Before removing the needleless connector, scrub with the alcohol pad and gauze where the end of the line meets the needleless connector. Use a windshield wiper motion. Do this for 15 seconds. With the same gauze and alcohol pad, remove the old needleless connector and throw it away. When you're done, throw the alcohol pad and gauze away. Scrub the end of the line with the new gauze and alcohol pad for 15 seconds. Let it air dry. Continue to hold the line while you pick up the normal saline syringe with the new needleless connector attached. Use the other hand to remove the plastic tip. Screw the new needleless connector onto the line Flush with normal saline as directed by your healthcare provider. Repeat the process for each lumen. Scrub the hub with alcohol for 15 seconds. Flush with heparin as needed. and apply the alcohol impregnated cap. Here are some important tips for changing the needleless connector. Always clamp the central line whenever you remove the needleless connector. Always wash your hands before and after changing the needleless connector. If you think you may have touched the end of the new needleless connector, Throw it away and get a new one. If you think you may have touched the end of the line, get another alcohol and gauze pad and clean the line again. Call your child's doctor or nurse if the central line hub site is cracked or leaking, you cannot remove the old central line needleless connector, or you have any questions or concerns.